After two weeks of waiting, the Nike Plus Edition Series 5 is now officially released. We had to wait two weeks later from the official standard release from the Series 5 for the Nike Plus Edition to finally be released. So there was a little bit of a delay. They did the same thing last year with the Series 4. But the Nike Plus Edition is now here and this one is the 44 millimeter space gray aluminum body Nike Plus Edition non-cellular so it has the GPS. And it's equipped with a new Royal Pulse Sport Band. There still is a reflective band option if you want the reflective band that we saw from last year's. And now I believe you can actually buy that separately if you want to pick that up later on. So unlike the standard Apple Watch that came in a white package, the Nike Plus Edition, its package is all blacked out. However, it still comes with its own two separate packages, the band and the Apple Watch itself. Now I did create this watch by using the Apple Watch Studio and this was probably the reason why you didn't see it coming included in that clear plastic wrap that we used to see. Now this sheet still has printed images of other combinations, other ideas you could create with your Apple Watch of some of these combos you could do with the bands. But since this box is still technically new, this is the part that we do have to unpeel and break a seal. And digging in. Here's our Apple Watch. It's inside its own separate little cloth pouch. And unlike the standard one, this one actually is a black pouch. The other ones was like a whitish skin tone type color. Now next to it is our manual and instruction guide. No Apple stickers, unfortunately. I don't care what you think, but this was thrown in for free at no cost before. I'm still really upset that they took this away for no reason. This used to have been like their iconic signature. That was one of the main reasons what used to separate Apple from everybody else. Well, anywho, on the right we have the standard 5 watt power adapter and it here is the charging puck for the Apple Watch. So as I mentioned, this is the non-solar version so we don't have a red ring around the crown wheel. Comparing it to my Series 4, which is also a 44mm Nike Plus Edition, everything else exterior wise looks exactly the same, even on the back side. We see the Nike logo is placed at its identical spot. And comparing it to the Series 5 non-Nike Plus Edition, we see exterior-wise, that is mainly the only two things that separate the Nike Plus Edition with the non-Nike Plus Edition. But once paired and boot up, the Nike Plus Edition has access to not just only the standard custom watch faces that's available on the non-Nike Plus Edition, but we get three additional ones at no additional charge. Such as the Nike Digital, Nike Analog, and my new personal favorite, the Nike Hybrid Watch Face. This one is the only Nike watch face that allows you to hold the most complications. And it's also fully customizable with multiple different looks you could pull off. And other exclusives on only the Nike Plus Edition, you get additional color options to choose from for your watch faces. Let's go ahead and leave it to the Royal Pulse to match our band. That's one of the exclusive colors. Now on the watch face, the Nike logo, if you quickly tap on it, it's actually a complication. This one's not adjustable, it's part of the watch face design. But when you tap on it, it will take you to the Nike Run app. This sport band obviously has holes, which means it's really breathable. It's gonna dry up quicker, so if you sweat a lot or if you just got out of pool, it's gonna dry up really quick, which is great. But if you don't want this band, you don't have to get it with this band. There's other options, such as the sport loop one. As I mentioned, you could get it with the reflective yarn or the non-reflective yarn. And then in the Creative Studio, that's you could add that at a no additional charge. But these bands are only available to be equipped on the Nike Plus Edition. You can however buy this separately if you already own an Apple Watch and also supports the older models like the Series 3 or older. As long as you get the right size that's compatible with that watch, you can swap to whatever Apple Watch you own. Last year for the Series 4, the reflective yarn was only exclusive to the Nike Plus Edition Series 4. It wasn't able to be purchased separately, but now you can. The benefits of going with the reflective band is let's say you're a runner and you're running at night and you want to help and make yourself a little bit more visible for oncoming traffic, this band should help out. So if you're debating between the standard sport or the Nike Plus Edition Apple Watch, this is my conclusion. If you're planning on buying a space gray or even a silver Apple Watch, you can't go wrong with going with the Nike Plus Edition because at the same cost, you get some exclusive free items. And since Apple doesn't support third-party watch faces, 
this is definitely a good way to have more options to better personalize your device. However, if you're planning on buying the aluminum gold Apple Watch, that one is only available on the standard sport Apple Watch. That's the only exception because the Nike Plus Edition is only available in space gray and aluminum silver. Other than that, make sure to stay tuned as the next video I'm going to go ahead and go more in depth on reasons why I choose the Nike Plus Edition over the standard Apple Watch. As well as check these end cards in case that video already been published by the time you're watching this video. And if this is your first time owning an Apple Watch, you want to check out some really awesome accessories you probably didn't know existed, definitely do check out this video as I cover every essential accessory you should buy for your Apple Watch. So if you want to find out some really great accessories, I definitely do encourage you to check out that video. But thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one.